Well, dear people, I have very, very important video for you how to uh, clean up render by using Arnold Denoiser. Th this time, I will show you how to use processor CPU and how to do that and to have a very quick render time. I also have got finished the render. Uh, so that I will show you how good in terms of quality it is. As you can see, uh, it's uh, fairly good enough, but I only use the in render settings do some is, and I use the option adaptive sampling. But I also have another uh, high quality render which took a little bit longer. As you can see, that one took me a little bit longer, but quality is uh, better, but render time took a lot. Uh, I will check once again and I will tell you how to denoise uh, your scene properly. You have to consider a couple of things uh, when you try to denoise your scene. First of all, go to system, check if you have got selected CPU or GPU, graphics card or processor because I use CPU because I had uh, problems when I tried to render the scene by using graphics card because that one is a little bit outdated uh, it's a little bit obsolete this is why I have to switch to RTX then to 2080 uh, I think GeForce RTX, GeForce RTX 2080 in the future. But now I don't have money to buy that expensive graphics card. Second thing, you have to go to diagnostics. Uh, deselect uh, option abort on error. Uh, next thing, we will have to specify where our uh, XRR file will be saved. Uh, I will get back to you to this option in a minute. First, you go to Arnold Render. I have the, the latest version. You can still use the uh, option 3ds Max Maps support. Uh, also, pay attention what settings I used. Uh, some is too, it should be okay. If you select a value like that, if you have AMD Ryzen, you can increase values a little bit. Uh, that one is very important. This is to do with general quality. If you use two options, that should be good enough. Next thing, uh, option which is to do with blur. Uh, I don't know if I should... Aha, okay, that one should be higher, so I will use 2.0 uh, value. We also have that filtering option. That one is to do with making polygons edges smooth. Uh, I will refer a little bit lower value. Uh, next thing, when you want to remove uh, noise and um, white points from materials, uh, this is very important and this. Uh, next thing, uh, environment, background and atmosphere, I used value 2. Uh, subdivision level in option geometry, I used value 5. Uh, iteration, or oh, this is to do with displacement, I used value 4. I don't need higher value. Next thing, go to arbitrary output variables uh, I already created my file how to do that? I will show you, you add a new file you can also rename this denoiser my custom denoiser and please make sure you have all of it because this is important as well. Make sure you select this and this. 
if you select this, this will be all in one, but I will prefer to have separate or oh. No, this will be included in XLR file, compression none, all lights. Uh, don't forget to select output folder. We have documents, video slacks, render output. What's the name of my file? Uh, oh, I don't have any file at the moment, but now... Oh, I can also uh, I can also select output folder. Oh, wow, this is quite large. Okay, don't forget to save your reset because that one is important too. Next thing, I will show you if you select the denizer, if you do animation and you have got. Uh, license for Arnold, you can do animation because this section is to do with animation. That one with single frame. So you can select. What you have to do first? You will have to uh, first denoise uh, your scene. Uh, I will use a little bit higher value here. What this option is more aggressive denoising. Maybe I will increase that one little bit. Uh, okay, I will use. Uh, I will leave as it is. When you denoise, uh, uh, you then have to render after doing that. Don't worry if you see render review because if you have relatively s uh, slow, relatively low values. Your render time should not take uh, very long. Uh, render preview will not take long. After when uh, render preview is finished, uh, the noising option will be coming up. I will show you. Maybe I will not uh, stop my open broadcaster studio. I have to check one of my video. Uh, still. Oh, okay, I can I can send. Give me a few seconds, because this is in Polish language. I, will, I wanted to show you, because after render review is finishing, don't worry, because you will see the noising in real time. I, I just was thinking to publish this video tutorial, because it isn't really that difficult. Only the, don't worry if you see this in, uh, no, it's not slow. It will be faster. It is relatively fast, depending how many samples you use. If you go up to uh, seven samples, because I use ad adaptive sampling option, and I only use value two because this is relatively fast. Also, I forgot to mention how many threads I assigned for Arnold. Five of them are being used, but because I'm running 3ds Max, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Only five threads are being used because I do not want to overload my processor. You you will see the noising now in real time. This shouldn't take long the time. Uh, just give me a few seconds, okay? Oh, you see? Once it started, you should be able to see the noising in real time. Oh, I, I used very good values. You can see, you can see the difference. You can see the difference. But because I'm using uh, uh, very low values, it is still good because this is quite high resolution. 
you can see see small white dots because I use the very low value of the sun is. You can also save this even during render time. So I can show you uh, review review. Don't worry because you can still do that. I should go to sleep people because I'm wake and I have to get I have to wake up to do work at college. But I want to show you how difference how big difference is. You can see that the noise is vector uh, than my optics the noise because optics was removing uh, details. For example, uh, I have mic in the corner. I could not see uh, some of the details. You can see it would be better render if I put values up to 7, but render time will be a lot longer. Okay, I hope you like this video.